sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Crust out your eyes. John Walsh has joined us. You know him from America's Most Wanted. He also has the uh, five star uh, responder device that uh, you're, you're promoting for people to keep track of your children, family, you know, loved ones in case they're ever in a, a, a crisis situation. Uh, this this device can, you know, help them communicate with someone who could possibly help them before it's too late, right? And people should go, you know, we're talking about your daughter and child safety. They can go to the website, yeah. greatcallisthecompany.com. Free, tons of safety tips. They don't have to buy the device. Go to the website and and. It, it explains to you, like you and I are talking about and with beautiful Heather, is is that you got to open the lines of communication mm -hmm. with your kids. You have to sit them down. They can work their computer way better. I just did a case of a, a, where I'm in process now of talking with ABC or CNN and bringing America's Most Wanted back, making oh, it the world's most wanted. Uh -huh. But one of the last cases I did was an 11-year-old boy who was on Facebook. He got on, used his older friend's ID, he invited a pedophile to his house. He lived in a big house with a housekeeper. The guy raped the 11-year-old boy, murdered him, and murdered the 65-year-old wow. housekeeper. Wow. Nobody has an idea who he is. Now, kids, they get on on their smartphones. They don't, you know, you can be a good dad and say, look, I don't want you in this chat room. I don't want you. I want, I want to look at your Facebook page. Believe me, if your kids don't friend you, then you're not parenting up. Yeah. You're not being the dad. They have to friend you. Uh -huh. And, you know, but... They get on on their say on their on their smartphones. They get on their Xbox. So you really can't monitor them. So you got to sit that girl down and say, "Here's the rules forever." I, I have a 30 year old daughter who probably didn't thank me till she was 25 and said, "Dad, you were the strictest dad. I kept my curfew. I know we're the parents of a murdered child of a brother I never met, but I never got date raped, Dad. I never got in trouble. I never got messed up with the wrong guy." because you cared. You sat down and talked to me and you and mom mentored me. So you talk to about those rules. I, 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 w I would ask you a question. Yeah. If you took your daughter somewhere and you got separated, do you have a game plan? If you went to a Yankees game, you went to Disney World, you went to the mall, if yeah. you got separated, do you have a game plan? Well, I'll tell you this. Um, we've been out before and uh, we were separated uh, because what happens with me is a lot of times I'm a really approachable and nice person. Right. So people approach Come up to you. They, they yep. want to take a picture or something, and and I I, I very seldom tell people no unless she's with Those me. Those your fans. Yeah. yeah. I, I really believe you yeah. got to take that. You got to take that. It takes then, a lot of courage to come up to you, but yeah, your daughter's got to know if she gets separated, you're here, you're there. You don't go out in the parking lot looking for the car. You go if they're young. Uh -huh. You go to a security guard. If you don't see a uniform cop, you go to a grandma. You go to a you go to a woman, a woman yeah. with children. You don't go up to a strange guy and say, I'm lost. I'm a little girl. I lost. My daddy's over here. Oh, it's what happened with my son. He was three hours away from his mother, six and a half years old, and some boys' video games were brand new, two black boys, two white boys. He asked his mom if he could watch the, the video games, brand new in 81. She went three hours away. The boys got in an argument untrained 17-year-old security guard in the store said, you white boys out this door, you black boys out this door, Otis Tool, a serial pedophile, was roaming toy departments in South Florida to grab a little boy. Wow. He had tried to do it the day before. Adam's outside the door. He grabbed him in 30 seconds. They never told us for 15 years that they ordered him out of the store. We And, and it took 27 years to solve Adam's case. But these guys are waiting, waiting for that moment. Mm -hmm. It was his lucky day. He saw a beautiful little six-year-old boy ordered outside of the store crying, and he went right up to Adam. I always felt that we compromised Adam by making him the little gentleman. Yeah. He was very respectful. He said, yes, ma'am, no, sir. And he took that guy's hand. And that guy killed him and decapitated him. It was a serial killer that roamed the wow. United States. So the rules, the game plan when we go out in public, people come up to me all the time. My kids, 30 now, 28, 18, mm -hmm. we had a game plan. We knew, they knew about the internet. They knew the rules of protection. I hate it when people live kids at their bus stop. Everybody's got problems. Everybody's yeah. working so hard. Get another mom. Get another dad. I'll take Tuesdays. I'll pick, I'll be at the bus stop. I'll watch it this Monday. 
don't let little kids, you know, people, walk, they, they send their kids out to walk to a bus stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got to have a game plan. If your child has to walk to school, you walk that route with them and say, we're never deviating from this, darling, or son. We're, this is a landmark. You get confused here. Uh, this up is until that. what age? I, I, I really, really feel up until 11, 12, I just, I've hunted, I've caught 1,200 creeps yeah. and recovered 60 missing children. And the predators are out there. I mean, you know, girls are vulnerable their yeah. whole life. Boys, they make it to about 12 or 13. The pedophiles have a real hard time. The kidnappers will grab them. They work them over the internet. They try to groom them over the internet, get them to meet them somewhere. But girls are vulnerable their entire life. And you're going to be Someday you're going to come to me and say, John, can you give me a, a get a GPS that I can implant in this girl's neck and, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I can find out where she is every day? I'm kidding because you're a good father. But you really got to sit down and talk to kids. And kids know how to work the Internet better than any of us dinosaurs did. They mm-hmm. know how to work around us. You got to sit down and say, hey. That 13-year-old girl you think so cool that has problems and you're going to meet her at the mall and not tell me is going to be a 25-year-old guy. It's going to be a 50-year-old yeah. guy. Mm. You think you're cool. You're going to meet him there. You're having this great conversation. That's a guy sitting in his cave somewhere grooming you to do it. 80% of kids say, even though my parents tell me not to do it, I think I'm a good enough judge. I will decide and I will go out and meet a stranger that I met on the Internet. Very disturbing. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.